Today we are going to be solving some inequalities by addition or and subtraction. Remember, inequalities are greater than or less than and greater than or equal to and less than or equal to. So just a little bit of helpful information. Um, when you are solving for an inequality, make sure that the variable is on the left side of the inequality before you start solving. Make sure the variable is on the left side before you start solving. Uh, it's just going to help you in the long run. Um, so if you look at the example on the bottom uh, where it says 8 is greater than x plus 3, you want to move this x plus 3 over to the left side so that when you write it, it would be x plus 3 is less than 8. Notice that um, the inequality, it looks like it's a mouth that's trying to eat the 8. Make sure that it's still trying, it's facing towards the 8. So in this one, uh, we would rewrite it as uh, x divided by 4 should be over to the left. And then since the first one says 16 is less than or equal to x divided by 4. You need to flip the signs to make it look like x divided by 4 is greater than or equal to 16. Again, we're doing this just because uh, it will help you when you have to graph these inequalities. So here's, one, here's the main point. If we are adding or subtracting to solve an inequality, just treat this just like a regular equation. Um, so, remember if it is x, if it's just x plus 5 is equal to 12, uh, what's the one thing that we're supposed to do? Always add the opposite. Always add the opposite. So what's the opposite of plus 5? Opposite of that is minus 5. So subtract 5 to both sides. And x is greater than and 12 minus 5 is equal to 7. Now off to the right, now we have y minus 3 is less than, less than 6. So what's the opposite of minus 3? Opposite of minus 3 is plus 3. So add 3 to both sides. So y is less than 9. Pretty simple, just solve it as a regular equation. So what does this all mean? So when we solve this, uh, we just subtract 5, subtract 5. x is greater than 7. So now we know that x is greater than 7, but what does this mean? So just think about it. If you have our number line, and if we have 7, we know that everything has to be greater, that the answer has to be greater than 7. So now we can put in any number that's greater than 7 for x, and then this inequality is still going to be true. So let's think about it. What's a number greater than 7? Well, let's try 8. What is 8 plus 5? 8 plus 5 is 13. Is 13 greater than 12? Yes, it is. So it's a true inequality. Uh, what about uh, the number 18? 18 plus 5 is 23. So is, is 23 greater than 12? Yes. So that means that this is still a true inequality. We can't put the number 7 here because 7 plus 5 is not greater than 12, it's greater than or equal to 12. So that's why we're not including this 7, but any number greater than 7 will work. So if we can get 8, 9, 10, 11, so on and so on. Any number greater than 7 will make this a true inequality. So now let's try to solve these inequalities. We have two examples. Uh, the first one, this is a b, not a 6. So b plus 20 is greater than 33. How do we solve for b? What is the opposite of plus 20? 
the opposite of plus 20 is minus 20. So subtract 20 to both sides. So B is greater than 33 minus 20 is equal to 13. And 13, B is greater than 13 is our final answer. Now the second one, if we have X minus 9 and 3 tenths is less than or equal to 12 and 5 tenths or 12 and, 12 and a half. So remember, what is the opposite of minus 9 and 3 tenths? You have to add 9 and 3 tenths. You add 9 and 3 tenths to both sides. So the 9 and 3 tenths on the left cancel out. And we have x is less than or equal to 21 and 8 tenths. So x is less, less than or equal to 21 and 8 tenths. So now it's your turn. I want you to pause the video and try this one. Solve for x. Unpause the video when you're ready to see what I've done. Okay, so remember, the very first thing that I said that I highly recommend is to move the x's, the variables, off to the left. So I'm just going I'm just going to rewrite this. So we have x minus 1 and 1 fourth is greater than 14 and a half. You don't have to do this, but when it, later when it comes to graphing, I highly recommend that you're going to do this. So, if we want x by itself, what's the opposite of minus one and a fourth is to add one and a fourth to both sides. So those cancel out. All that we have left is x is greater than. So when we add these, uh, let's add the whole numbers first. So if we have uh, 14 plus 1, that is 15. Now we just have uh, off to the side. We're going. I'm going to deal with the one half and the one fourth. So if we do that, uh, we have one half plus one fourth. We need similar uh, similar denominators. So if we use the common denominator, would be four. Um, so two times two is 4, so 2 times 1 is 2. I'll keep that the same. So 2 fourths plus 1 fourths is equal to 3 fourths. And then this 3 fourths just comes right over here. So x is greater than 15 and 3 fourths. That is our final answer. So now we need to learn how to graph inequalities. When we are talking about x is greater than 2 and x is less than negative 3, if it's not equal to, we are going to have to draw a dot. It is an open dot. It does not, it is not colored in. So all we have to do is we look at the inequality and kind of make it like an arrow. Make it look like it's going to, you're making an arrow that's going to the right. So all you have to do is to mark it at 2. So you draw a little circle at 2 and you're drawing an arrow to the right. Remember that circle has to be open. Now over on here on the right, mark the make a circle at negative three. That has to be open. And remember, basically just draw an arrow where it's going to be the arrow has to be pointing to the left. So point that arrow to the left. Now on the bottom, where it's greater than greater than or equal to and less than or equal to, instead of 
an open circle, you have to draw a closed circle. Important. Write it down. Same thing. You can just think of these as little arrows. So it's going to be pointing to the right. So this is x is greater than or equal to negative 4. So go to negative 4. Draw in a closed circle. And it's pointing to the right. Now this one we have x is less than or equal to 5. So you go to 5, draw a closed circle. has to be going to the left because the arrow is basically, basically looking like it's pointing to the left. So just for a quick review, just remember, all you got to do, just solve it like a regular uh, equal sign equation. That's all you have to do.